Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. I'm not outside um, working on projects and doing anything today. Today I am, it's kind of an exciting day and a little bit of a nervous day. Cause, um, I am listing my campground on hipcamp.com. I'm, I'm planning to finish that today. Uh, one of the things that I have not done yet is um, put pictures. So they've asked me to go and get pictures. And I, I, with all the videos I've done, I thought I'd have plenty of pictures, but I actually don't have many pictures to show of the site. So, um, I chose Hip Camp just because I've heard about this through social media and it seems to be doing pretty well and has a good service. Uh, do I actually know that this is the great best service? No, but uh, I need to try it. So, and the reason I'm kind of a little bit nervous is uh, I don't, my campground isn't completely ready. The bathroom is fully functional. The shower is fully functional. Uh, the tent spaces I've been clearing out but uh, aren't quite ready. But today I went to go list my RV pad because my RV pad is completely ready uh, 50 amp power water and uh, septic so I, I wanted to start letting people come up and enjoy that um, my wife was like oh, no don't do it right now because you're still working on it you're still you know finishing up the trim and doing this and that and uh, we want good reviews but I said well I think if we list it letting people know that you know technically the the bathroom area and everything is still under construction that uh, people won't be offended but uh, I know that uh, I've heard that you know this is a popular camping area going up the river towards us and uh, I've had reports from some friends or my wife's friends from work that, that they're trying to go camping and there's nothing open uh, and uh, so uh, I'm hoping to open it this weekend we're gonna list it uh, so far I found the hip camp website to list it being very helpful you know I like what do I list what do I say and they give good ways of trying to give a description of your property and then they have for instance right here what do you have you know do you have a fire pit you know, do you have a picnic table do you have garbage cans just things like I might not have thought do I list this and tell them that it's available do you have drinking water and that type of thing so there's kind of a checklist of all the things that you have and actually I started looking at this a while back before my campground was ready and I, I was just playing around on the site and I actually had a customer service person call back and said are, are you are you you didn't finish your listing would you like to do it and I said I'm not ready yet so I think they will be able to give me some suggestions I'll probably call them or give them a call or ha have them call me uh, on one thing I'm a little bit confused on on the website and so I, I'm listing specifically the RV pad but then it asks how many other campsites do you have or whatnot, and I don't know if I'm supposed to open up uh, something separate and say, you know, you could do tent spaces for this price, or if I just list my RV pad at this price and then let them know that there's also tent spaces throughout the property. So I, I really don't, I, that's the one thing that's a little bit confusing, but other than that, they've been very good at explaining how to fill this out uh, and doing that type of thing. They even give, like, Someone saying, what are you going to charge per night for your RV pad? And I said, I have no idea. You know, I don't own an RV myself, and so I don't know what they're worth. But uh, after I put in some information, they gave me a suggested price of $49 a night, saying that uh, that would be best for me, is getting a decent amount of money, but low enough price that I'll keep getting people coming through. So I, I listed at that, and uh, we'll see if we get some action here this weekend. And, uh, you know, I still have... Like I said, a ton of cleaning up to do. Um, I got to knock down some weeds, but there is some, you know, that's all in the campground area. So I'll, I'll ask them about that. Do I, do I need to let them know, ex you know, what we're at or here? But there's actually not construction in the RV pad area. So anyway, I'm excited and nervous. We're going to be getting it going. I do need to finish a picnic table to put it on there. And I do need, I do have rocks for a fire ring, but I haven't made the ring. I listed this as having that. So obviously before someone comes out, but putting a picnic table and making a fire ring is not something that's going to take long. But uh, I'm kind of excited uh, to get this done. So once again, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business. Teaching, including horticulture, is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone. Here we are moving dirt to fill and cover over the septic system and drain field. This is the last really big thing and official thing that I had to have done to legally have campers and people use my RV and say that there's septic. 